Hello, this is Nicole D'Alessio, and I'm going to show you how to do a big and small crazy photo composition using Photoshop Mix. And first what I'm going to do is go ahead and open my Photoshop Mix app on my iPad. And you can get this, you can download this app for free on any mobile device, Android or iOS. And over on the left hand, uh, I'm going to go ahead and press the plus symbol, which is going to lead me to my own project. And I'm going to go ahead and click on an image. And I'm going to go to my camera roll, looking for some of the images I'm going to use. And I'm going to start off with this image right here. And this is going to be my giant. So this is going to be my background image. And I'm going to go ahead and add another image on top, which I'm going to make tiny. So now that I've got this open up, you notice on my right hand side, I've got my layers and I've only got one layer and down on the bottom are all of my tools. I could tweak my photo. I could adjust it. I can add little filters and whatnot, but right now I'm just worried about um, adding two photos together. And next I'm going to press the plus symbol and I'm going to add a new image layer on the top. And I'm going to select the other image that I want it to work with. And this has the two kids on it. Now I'm just going to keep one of the kids when I'm gonna layer on top. And notice that this image is the top layer at this point the bottom one is being covered. So I'm gonna cut out the girl who I'm gonna make my tiny figure. So down on the bottom, I'm gonna select my little scissors tool. And I've got different options of different shapes or brushes. And I'm going to select the smart brush on this one to start with. And I'm going to add the girl in, but I want everything else to be deleted. So I'm gonna use the plus button and I'm gonna start selecting her. And notice I've got the other picture behind this kind of showing up. It's a little bit distracting to me. So over on the top, I'm going to turn that off with those little layers so that it's uh, showing only the picture that I'm working with. And you can toggle on and off with this one. It's actually quite useful. And I'm gonna zoom in and add some more to get some of my fine details. And I've got her shoe down here. And I'm going to zoom in. And I can do the edges. Now I've got most of what I want here, but I'm gonna get rid of some of the excess. So I'm going to the minus one. And now I'm going to subtract little parts here and maybe subtract a little more over here. And I'm gonna pinch and zoom to subtract the part in the middle. Now, the good thing is, is that I chose a picture, I'm gonna go back to plus and add her foot that got deleted, that was taken on the same day in the same time in the same place. So this is going to make my composition look a little bit more realistic if that's the look that you're trying to achieve to make it look more like it could have possibly happened. And I'm gonna go, oops, I cut too much. If you make a mistake, you can use the back arrow. I love that tool. I went backward. And now it's not wanting to do such a good job around her tool. So I'm gonna go to my basic brush where I have some little choices here where I'm gonna make my brush harder and I'm gonna make it smaller. And then I'm gonna subtract because I'm just going to manually go around her head. Now she's gonna be small. So the good thing is, is if I make some imperfections, nobody will ever know because she's gonna be tiny. And that looks pretty good. Now, if I was gonna be doing this on my own, I'd probably be a super duper perfectionist, but for now that's good. I'm gonna press check mark, okay. And now I have her, but I notice that she is too big. So I'm gonna go ahead and make her smaller. And you can make her as small or big as you want by pinching on my layer. I do see some little mistakes in here. So I can always go back and fix my mistakes by going back over to my cutout tool and maybe this time leaving my layers and going back to my minus and I'm gonna pinch over here and I'm gonna manually go ahead and get rid of that little extra here 
and get a rid of a little extra here and I said oops I did too much I can go over here and add it back and this time it's kind of helpful to have the layer on underneath oop I noticed one more mistake here so I'm going to go ahead and manually erase that if if it's not doing such a good job of guessing I'm going to press the check mark and it looks pretty good so there's my composition you are you can add up to five layers total so I can add new image layer or whatever you want to do. Um, I think I like it just the way it is and I'm going to go ahead and save this. So I'm going to press the up arrow and save it to my camera roll or whatever works for you where you want to send it. But for that case I'm sending it to my camera roll and I'm done. So that's it. Enjoy, be creative and have a wonderful time. Good luck.